Here is a homemade 12 volt power supply that I got at the Ham Fest several years ago. It had a few problems with it. It had a bad power cord and the way it was made the power switch was very close to this transformer so I put some black tape around it. It shouldn't be a problem when the, ca the top of the case is put on but it was so close that I wanted to give it some extra insulation. This electrolytic cap is from 78. It seems like the voltage is pretty good and I haven't detected any harm when hooking it up to things so I think I'll just continue to use it but it may end up needing a new electrolytic sometime here. But it's 12,000 microfarads. And some of the wiring here in here I had to replace. It's got four 2N3055 transistors. And it's got an AC voltage meter on the front, although that's hooked up to the DC output, so it really just sort of serves as a as a reference for where the, the DC voltage is. I guess it was designed to be used with a rectifier somehow for AC. There's the voltage adjustment. You can't adjust it very much. It uses a 7812 uh, regulator. And then I guess that's hooked up with a, I guess that just sort of supplies a reference voltage and then the actual regulating is done by the transistors. Need to turn off the, turn off the air compressor there. I've got this hooked up to a 1967 Motorola 12 volt black and white TV. And this TV didn't power up at all on the AC power supply within it. I'm not sure if it's bad diodes or what. But I did get it to work with the uh, 12 volt supply, although the TV is going to need some new capacitors. The vertical, uh, the vertical on it isn't quite right. I'm going to turn it on here. But if by the spirit you put to death the views of the body, you will live. There's still an analog religious translator or a low power station here so I can kind of get a signal on, on the little TV. But I know new electrolytics are going to be needed. I'll have to order order some for it. But the power supply does work good.